Hello guys, this is part two of our series of creating our custom search engine that can index our own website without using Google. I know you can use Google, but without using Google, you got to learn to build your own crap and not depend on Google all the time. You know what I mean? So that's what we're learning how to do today. If you're the type of person who likes to just go grab a script and use it, then go for that. But if you want to learn something, hang out with me. We'll be, we'll be done. Okay, so let's make a comment here. So we're going to say... Connect to database. So that's our database connection string we're going to set up here. So we're going to say my SQL underscore connect. We're going to do parenthesis. And for our string we're going to set up here, for we're going to do quote, quote, comma, space, quote, quote, comma, space, quote, quote, comma. Actually, the last one here shouldn't have a comma. So take that comma out. We're just going to close it up with a bracket and a tag to close it up. So inside here, we're going to connect to our database for this string, okay? So our database, we're going to have localhost, Whatever username you use to connect to your local host. In this case, mine is root on my local server. Because that's where I'll be setting up first to show you guys. My password, I don't have one on my local server, so I, I don't need to create that one. So we're just gonna hit enter, we're gonna start a new line. So now we're gonna set up the rest of our connection script our connection script. Uh, script. <laughs> so we're gonna say my SQL. For our MySQL query, we're gonna do underscore S E L E C T select. It's S-E-L-E-C-T. So we're going to do select underscore DB. For this one, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're just pretty much doing the same thing. But this, no, this time it's just one. And for here, we're going to do uh, whatever our name of our database is. So in my case, again, it's database 360. That's the name of the database I create for mine. So you, whatever you create for yours, you wanna name that. But uh, you can just name it whatever. Right, what I'm naming it right now for mine as well. So we're gonna indent a new line, and we're gonna say dollar sign query space equals my SQL, <coughs> and we're gonna go underscore. Q U E R Y query. So dollar square on a space equal space by SQL query. And after the MySQL query, we're gonna do a two brace. And inside these two brace, we're gonna put dollar sign query. Then we're gonna shut that one up. Hit enter return one more time. Now let's set up our numro function here. So we're gonna set up a numro and now I'm gonna explain all this command. Stop doing that. So I'm gonna set up a numro. So I'm gonna say num R O W S numros space equals space my S Q L and for the my SQL query we're gonna do underscore not mom num num underscore rows we're going to do curly brace and inside this we're going to set up another query string so we're going to say dollar sign query and close it off now we're going to say if dollar sign num row if dollar sign num rows is greater than Zero. And I, so we'll say if dollar sign number is greater than zero, we're gonna run a while loop on this if it's greater than zero. Let's do do two indents. We're gonna say while dollar sign R O W S while rows equals space my SQL. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. 
Oh, sorry guys. F E T C T C H fetch underscore asak. So we're gonna do the asak function and then we're gonna say dollar sign, I mean brace dollar sign query. And this time we're gonna do two curly brace and a bracket to open that up. We're gonna hit enter. Now we're gonna set up all the I, the fields that we're gonna database. We're gonna tell it which fields out of the database to pull. So we're gonna get all of them. So I'm, I know that I'm gonna want a ID field space equals space dollar sign R O W row. We're gonna do the square bracket, not the curly one, but just the regular square bracket on that one. We're gonna do two comma the square bracket again. I'm gonna do a curly brace, and inside this we're gonna find ID. So we're telling you to get the ID field from the database. So I'm gonna copy this a couple of times because I'm gonna need this a few times. So that's why I don't have to type it out again. So I'm just gonna copy this. Enter return pace. Enter return pace. So I need five. So enter return pace. Enter return pace. So I know I got an ID field in there. I got a title. And enter the same thing right here. I know I got a description field. And same thing here. And I know I got a keywords field in my database. I think I spelled that wrong. You gotta be very careful here, guys. You can't make any mistakes on this. You make any mistakes, and it not, it's not gonna work. And I know I got a link field. That's for my link. So that should take care of all we need for the pulling stuff out of the database. So what we're doing is selling it. Go inside the database, grab the ID, the title, the description, the keywords, and the link. So we want you to grab those. But after you grab those, we're going to want you to echo. So we're going to put in an echo statement here. So we're going to say echo, quote, quote. And inside our echo statement, I'm going to put the H2 tag. And inside the H2 tag, I'm going to echo out. Let's put a link tag to this as well. So I'm going to say a h r e f so you're going to say h r e f equals quote quote and I know that's going to be whoops a and inside here we're going to echo out our link so we're going to link the title tag we're going to make the title tag show up as a link inside the uh whenever we, 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 we do the field. So it's going to show up as a link. So we're going to say dollar sign L-I-N-K link. And inside here for the link, we're going to make it shows a title tag. So we're going to say dollar sign T-I-T-L-E title. <coughs> and outside of that, we're going to make it echo also the description. So we're just going to hit enter return a couple times. We're going to say one time actually. And then we're going to say dollar sign D-E-S-C-R-I-P-T-I-O-N, so description. So it's going to echo out the description. And then we're going to put in a couple of break tags here for that. So we'll put in a couple of break tags for it to echo out. And after we do that, space, slash, and close that one up. Actually, no. That was wrong. So the semicolon. On the outside of that, and after we hit enter return, enter return, brace to close, enter return, brace to close. Okay, so if you notice, we open two curly brace and we close two curly brace. It's still giving me an error. I'm gonna work out what that error is in a second, and I'll be back. Hit it. I put. All right. So it was like this. I'll, I'll put it back. You see, it gives me the error right away. So I put double quotes, it should be single quotes. 
because it's PHP, not it's inline linking. It's not necessarily so. See the single quotes and see all my error syntax goes away. So that's what I did wrong before. So let's continue on with the tutorial. Uh, now we have to set up a else statement. So we're going to say else, put space, enter. I'm going to indent this a little bit. I'm going to say echo, double quote this time because it's an echo statement. And inside our double quote, we're going to say no, sorry, no results found. For, and for our for statement, we're going to do space, backslash, quote, quote, and inside of, whoops, I'm doing a lot of quotes here. Actually, that's correct. And inside a quote, we're going to put a bold tag. So I'm just going to make that bold. So B tag. And we're going to echo out the input. So we're going to say dollar sign input. So we're going to echo our input right here. So whatever they input inside the field. So let's say you type contact inside the field or uh, customer service. It's going to echo out. And there's no results. There's no results found for customer service because this is our input, whatever you input in the field. So no, no results found for customer service. So that's what that's doing. So we're going to put a backslash here. And outside here, we're going to just close that off. And it's always good practice when you do MySQL uh, databases to I'm gonna put a comment here and say disconnect. And we're gonna say my SQL underscore close. Brackets, brackets, and a semicolon to close it off. So that's all we need for that. Now we're going to test everything out. So I did it in two videos, not three, which is whew, a little bit of a relief. So I'm going to jump to design view. As you can see, all we create here is the same field. It looks the same, but we're going to show you how it works here in a second. So now let's jump to creating a database for this. I'm going to delete my database that I currently have, and I'm going to walk you guys through the entire step. And in my PHP my admin section, it's going to give me the option right here to create a new database. So I'm going to call mine like I did before. Database 360. And I'm going to create my database. Now, my database table, I'm going to call search. You can see it's popping up because I did it before. Five fields and go. So now our five field, our first field is our ID. Second field is going to be our title. Our third field is going to be our description. Our fourth field is going to be our keywords. See, they're all coming up because I did it before. And the last field is going to be our link. Okay, so for our ID field, we're going to leave it at integer. And we're going to scroll over. We're going to set it to auto increment and primary. Because we don't want two listings that have the same. Our text, our title, we're going to set to var char 255. And our description, we set to text, keywords to text. Those don't need a value. And our link to var char 255. And we're going to click save, not go, save. OK. So what's happening here? Um, we have our tables created and everything. We're going to click, hit insert. Let's name this contact. As you can see, I've done all this before. Description, we're going to call. Let's put a contact as one of our keywords. Space, give you a new keywords. And we're going to do customer space S E R. The ICE service. So we know we have contact, customer, and service as one of our keywords. And for our our description, I mean, sorry, that's not my keyword. So our description, whatever you want, you want to call it. Contact us. Let's just say 
contact us and I'm always jumping one head one step ahead. Now this is our keywords and we're going to paste that what we just had there into our keywords and the link is the link to wherever you want this to go when after they close up the contacts. So for me, HTTP I'm going to pull that in and I want slash contact that PHP. I'm going to hit go just to create one. Okay, now back to Mr. Weaver and I'm going to hit save all and preview in Firefox. Where's Mr. Firefox? It's thinking about it. Now it's giving me a whole bunch of database error. Like I got, like I told you guys, it does not work on local server. See, a whole bunch of database errors because it won't work on the local machine. So I'm gonna drag this all up to the web. Okay. Okay, guys. So I've inputted my connection info for my server online. I have removed the root and all that. But if you're on your local server, root is it? I don't know what your connection that is. You'd have to ask your hosting provider. So I put mine in and I'm going to try and connect to it. I put it onto, well, oops, I should probably drag it onto the web. So let's put it onto the web. And I know that it's 360 web solutions. And I, I have the folder and I paid, whoops, I, I, don't, I didn't have the folder. So it's, what did I call that folder again? It's, uh, it should be there already. So it's engine, test engine. There we go, it's right here. So if you connect to it, as you can see, we've got Woodle show up here. And if we type contact, like we had before, and like, you know, we put contact inside our contact, I'll click search. See, it pops up our contact info because we have contact inside the contact link. So you pop up the contact page for customer service. If you click on that, it will take you to the contact page I designate. As you guys can see, it works. So that's how to create a search engine for your websites. For those of you who like this, if you have any issues, give me a call. I, I'm going to have all the codes in the description uh, so you guys can download this. I'm going to have the package, a link in the description so you can download the package just in case you miss something when you're typing out on screen. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. Don't forget to rate, comment, you know, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this and what you guys would like to see next you know just give me some ideas of how to make tutorials because i'm running out of ideas right now i mean i got tons of tutorials i could create i just don't know what you guys want to see so just give me some ideas and i'll, I'll be making more tutorials i'll see you guys later hope this helps